Speaking of getting out of the car, Cody got out of his car, went into the building, and then came to the ring and did a promo. And got a big response, but it was the tribute to the troops uh, themed program. And I don't know if, I don't know if ev it wasn't everybody, but a significant portion of the audience was in uniform of some kind of another, whichever branch of the service they were in, right? And so he got a big response. He introduced the tribute to the troops package that I'm guessing was recycled from some time back because John Cena was really the only talent in it, right? And this wasn't new footage. So it, it gave the the flavor of the tribute to the troops concept, but <laughs> it was pretty much John Cena, right? Uh, which is probably for the best because he's the biggest fucking name. But anyway, there there was no wrestling uh, content with Cody to this. He just he came out, introduced that, thanked the troops, and introduced the army drill team. And they juggled their rifles, and I mean they're throwing them up in the air, and they're turning loops, and they're catching them. And I'm thinking, my God, this is a goddamn a wrestling crowd with these guys doing this intricate shit. If anybody drops one of these things. They're going to blow the fucking roof, but <laughs> fortunately, they... Well, no, you know. They're not I mean, loaded. Huh? They're no, not loaded. I'm not talking about the gun going off. I'm talking about the fans are going to hoot at this fucking guy. You fucked up. You fucked. It's a wrestling crowd. You know, they'd acted like it was the goddamn... It's like the bartenders do the bottles with the fucking acrobatic pouring and everything. Somebody drops a bottle, everybody applauds. I felt bad for these guys because they, they're there with the spotlights in their eyes and the fucking crowd in this arena, but they nailed it. They juggled the rifles and then they left. But that would be funny if the they dropped the fucking rifle and the rifle shot grandma <laughs> yeah. up in a cheap seat, shot her right between the eyes. It wouldn't be funny. We're not saying it would be funny. Well, the idea is hey, hysterical. Well, grandma though. could be a fucking bitch when she wanted to be. Can you imagine that though? If the fucking rifle landed, bam, and it shot some woman in the fucking cheap seats between the eyes, and she just fell right over in the middle of her popcorn? No, she fell over the I'm, rail. and <laughs> over the rail and does a fucking flip. It lands on somebody down in reserved and breaks their fucking neck. Now they're in a goddamn wheelchair, and they've got to be represented by <laughs> Stephen P. New, 877-50-STEVE. Oh, good lady. It could set off a chain reaction. <laughs> <laughs> shoot the woman she falls on the when the guy's neck gets broken he shits himself when he shits himself someone slips guy, on it yeah. somebody <laughs> slips on it behind falls down the fucking stairs it's a rube goldberg goddamn contraption i'd watch that show <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's, uh... Let's... How many people can we kill with one shot? <laughs> well, speaking of which, let's uh, go back to the uh, weekly death that is SmackDown. Moving on. 